back everybody welcome to queen cancer tarot channel everyone i am the host for everybody who is new to the channel my name is Catherine. i am here to bring you clarity guidance and love messages i have timeless readings for all of our lovely cancers sun moon rising and venus signs now for those of you who are new please make sure that you click like comment Share and subscribe to the channel. I do a giveaway for all subscribers every single month on the first is when I do that giveaway. The list of everything that I give away is in the description box below. So please check that out. Also, Cancers, I do a weekly giveaway. So every single week, I do a three question reading. Um, giveaway for three subscribers so i will be pulling every monday i will be pulling from the drawing which is just a bag full of names and every time that i see you commenting win or free reading then i will enter your name in the drawing you can enter multiple times okay so please make sure you guys are entering into the drawing for next week okay all right if you guys did win a prize with me make sure to email me to please um if i to book a reading my website is, is in the description box below there's a link to get straight to Right, so please, please, if you wanna book a reading, go to the website. Um, also make sure you guys are subscribed to my new channel, Tarot Talk Live on YouTube. And I believe that is all. So we are going to take a look at, um, Cancer, we're gonna do a you versus men rating. I was gonna do all 12 signs, but I will, do that in the next reading. So right now we are going to be looking at cancer and cancer's person. Let's go ahead and channel some energy here. It's an oracle. Holy Spirit, thank you for guys. Tell me about cancer and cancer's person, please. What does cancer need to know today? Holy Spirit, angels and guides, please tell me about cancer, please. Tell me about cancer. So we have manifest, successful manifestations, learning to manifest, aligning to receive, journal, and candle. And we have reconcile and success. Lovers return, family overcoming, friendship strengthen, reunions and forgiveness. And then we have success, happiness and love, prosperous career, good health, healing, financially stable. So cancers, there is someone, and this could be you, um, or this could be your person, but there is somebody who is wanting to manifest um, a reconciliation with you. And they want forgiveness for this, okay? Um, and with success here, I feel like this person, you know, they want to work things out with you, okay? This talks about healing and good health here. So I feel like this person is in a good position um, now with things, and I feel like they want to, um, work things out with you. So this is somebody you haven't been speaking to. Um, this could also be someone that you used to live with and this person moved out. Well, this person is now wanting to come back, Cancer. 
Under the deck, we have sleep and attack here. Sleep and attack. So there's an energy of this person may come in when you least expect it, or you may feel um, as though this person, you know, may be turned on you. Um, now, for some of you, okay, this could be an energy where some of you may have had a physical altercation with this person. They may have put hands on you. This is for a small number of you. Um, and with sleep here, this talks about no phone in bed, nightmares. Pay attention to your dreams. Different pillow, mattress, clean space. I feel like some of you may still be dealing with whatever it was that happened in the past with this person. Now, this could have been a verbal altercation or an attack. This person may have, you know, said some very terrible, horrible things to you. Well, there's an energy of this person. Um, I feel like you're still suffering from this. Whatever this person said, you're still like having nightmares about it or is, there's an energy of you're not able to really sleep at night. Um, about this situation. So this is something that's fairly new. I feel like this is recent here. So let's go ahead and look at the tarot here. It's about cancer three. Holy Spirit, thank you for guys. Tell me about cancers, please. Okay. So tell me about manifest here. Tell me about manifest, please. Holy Spirit, angels, and guys. Tell me about manifest. Then you have the death card here. Scorpionic energy. You could be dealing with the Scorpio cancer. Um, but there is a situation where I feel like you walked away or, you know, something ended with this person. And now they're wanting to come back here. Page of Pentacles. This is an energy of someone who wants to be seen or recognized as like, you know, the right person um, to do something or the person that you can count on. Cancer. So something about this person is different. I feel like they've changed. Tell me about reconcile, please. Okay. Ace of Cups. This person wants a new, another chance. They want a chance to start over. They want you to forgive them, Cancer. Um, this person wants to start over in love here. And with the King of Wands, this person, it's like this person can see this happening. They just want another chance. They can see, you know, I feel like this person can see you with them in the future. They just need to get over this hurdle. With success here, this person is coming in very confident that they are going to succeed, okay? Um, manifest and success. I mean, I'm seeing the magician here. 
I'm seeing someone who is definitely, you know, very skillful. They know how to get what they want, Cancer. So this is somebody who's very determined. Tell me about success, please. Tell me about success. And we have the Eight of Wands. So the Eight of Wands can represent something happening very quickly or someone who's going in a completely different direction all of a sudden. This also talks about someone coming in with a lot of communication. So this person is, like I said, very positive, very confident that, you know, not only are you going to take them back, but, you know, they're going to work things out with you. You know, they feel as though things are going to work out. With the Eight of Swords under the deck, though, you may be blocking this person. Now, with Sleep and Attack, I'm getting a strong feeling of this is not someone that you're very interested in welcoming back in. This person may have even attacked you in your sleep or there's an energy of you not being able to sleep, okay, around this person. So you don't feel safe or you don't feel comfortable here. You have two eights here. Yeah, this person wants a chance to start over and have a clean slate. Um, but unfortunately, you're still suffering from the effects of whatever this person did. Tell me about sleep. Tell me about sleep. Mm, that one in the reverse. The six of wands in the reverse here. And this is someone who is definitely feeling very unloved. This is someone who feels like they're being neglected, okay? Someone who's very unhappy um, in the connection. There's an energy of feeling like you're being punished for some reason. So some of you may have, you know, there may be an energy of some of you may still be suffering or going through this and feel like it's a punishment. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, so I feel like you're definitely not going to be welcoming this person back in. Cancer. You are not gonna be welcoming this person back in. Um, we have the 10 of pentacles under the deck. Now the 10 of pentacles is, you know, the card of everybody's wishes and dreams coming true you know but this talks about things happening very quickly it can also represent family but this talks about having a solid foundation do you see what i'm saying having a solid foundation um but again this can talk about something happening very fast a windfall a lot of something coming in. And with this punishment here, I feel like there was an energy of um, maybe you're not able to sleep because of all of the guilt. There's an energy of you feeling guilty or this person making you feel guilty. So I'm getting attack here, one or more people turning on you. Now, this could represent this person's family, where there is some sort of an argument that's taking place that has to do with family. Tell me about attack, please. Tell me about this physical or verbal altercation. Okay, and we have the Eight of Pentacles here with judgment underneath the deck. So someone is waking up to 
to the fact that they need to work on themselves. There's something this person knows that they need to do. Um, now, this could also be an energy of an argument that took place because this person felt as though you were judging them. Okay. With the Eight of Pentacles, this talks about someone going back to school or someone who's um, studying a trade or who is doing something because maybe this person wants to get a promotion um, at work. So they're taking classes, something to better themselves. Okay, and with this judgment card here, this talks about someone who is waking up to the fact that they know they need to fix something. This person may know that they have a problem. Maybe they have a problem with their temper here. Okay. Tell me more about this attack energy. Tell me more about this attack energy here. And we have the Ten of Wands. Yes, this is definitely an energy of, you know, people arguing, fighting. I feel like there was a lot of stress. Okay, this person was undergoing a lot of stress or, you know, there was a lot of stress in the connection because of this person. And with the Five of Pentacles under the deck, like, you couldn't take it anymore. I feel like you, you walked out on this person. We have the Empress here behind the scenes. This is your energy here, Cancer. You could also be dealing with the Libra or Taurus. Libra, Taurus, Cancer, you have fire energy here. So let's go ahead and look at your person's energy and then we will um well let's go ahead and double clarify here let's double clarify tell me about the death card here in the page of pentacles so we have the Knight of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. And like I said, this person wants you to see them as a changed person. The, this person, I feel like with that Ace of Wands, was someone who probably, this person probably had some sort of an affair or this person would have, you know, affairs with people. Okay, or one night stands, this person wasn't, you know, beyond sleeping around here. But with that Knight of Pentacles here, this is someone who is reliable or someone who wants to take their time in a situation because they want their person to count on them. They want their person to believe in them, Cancer. Okay. That Knight of Pentacles is someone who is committed, okay, um, but also it's a very patient energy. And that Ace of Wands is someone who has a lot of passion. They move very quickly. They're not used to moving slow or taking their time. You see what I'm saying? They're not used to this. Um, but this person wants to see you as a changed person. With the three of pentacles under the deck, so this person wants you to see that they're coming in wanting to work with you, not against you. See what I'm saying? And here's the six of cups here. This is that karmic energy. This is someone who's wanting to come back in to reconcile here. And you have the two of cups. Six of Cups and the Two of Cups here. Like I said, with the Ace of Cups and the King of Wands, this person wants another opportunity. 
okay, to work things out with you. So they're definitely coming back in. They're definitely wanting to reconcile the situation. With that six of swords here, though, Cancer, I feel like you have moved on. Okay, six of swords and you have temperance here. You have moved on and I feel like you are not going to respond. So the eight of wands, again, with that eight of swords, this represents someone coming in with a lot of communication, but they're going to be blocked. I feel like you're going to be blocking this person out. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's going to be an indirect form of communication, but you are not um, letting this person in at this point. I don't see you doing it. <laughs> yeah, this person wants forgiveness. They're coming in with a lot of conversation, a lot of communication, Cancer, um, because they want to manifest this um, I love it when that happens with my candles. So it's one of those like pretty candles. So you, you have to watch them. That's why you have to watch candles because, you know, fire has a mind of its own, you guys. And that's a pretty tall flame, but it'll go down. If it doesn't, I'll end up blowing it out. <laughs> you see that? How wild that is? <clears throat> okay. Well, this person is going to be <laughs> heating up here, or I feel like some emotions, or this person's, you know, going to be showing their true colors, I feel like. With sleep here and attack, again, I feel like you're definitely not letting this person in, okay? I feel like you're shutting this person out here, and they are going to ramp it up, Cancer. This is when the attack is going to come in, okay? Eight of Pentacles with the Judgment card, again, I feel like this person, you know, knows that they need to, they know that they need to work on themselves. And you may not ever want this person back, but they know that they have a lot of work to do. But it's gonna be evident because I feel like they're gonna lose their cool with you. Tell me about this six of wands in the reverse. Like I said, this is somebody who feels punished. They're feeling neglected, okay? With the 10 of pentacles, you know, you may have children with this person, or like I said, I feel like you may have been living with this person, and now you don't. Maybe you put this person out, they want to come back home. See what I'm saying? Tell me about Six of Wands in the reverse, please. Tell me about the Six of Wands in the reverse. And we have the Hermit. Virgo energy, this person, you've pulled back your energy. You're looking at this person in a whole new light. You see what I'm saying? And now that you can see this person for who they are, I feel like you are in no rush to let this person back in. And look, why do we have the Ten of Pentacles again under the deck? This person may try to... Um, give you money or they may try to like come in with all this attention and you know what I mean because that pentacles can refer to time it can refer to material things okay and there's a whirlwind there's like a sudden influx of this taking place that's because you're you're pulling back and this person knows it you see what I'm saying and so they're going to come in, I feel like, with a lot of energy. But with that four of cups here behind the scenes, Cancer, this is your energy. You are emotionally disconnected at this point. You know what I'm saying? You're trying to heal. You're trying to get over whatever this person did. It was bad because I feel like you're having trouble sleeping. You're having nightmares. 
about whatever this person did. This person attacked you. There was some sort of an attack here. Um, but let's clarify. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles and Judgment. This person knows that they messed up here with the Nine of Wands here under the deck, the Three of Wands. It's like this person is putting up this wall and they're like refusing to see, you know what I'm saying, what you are trying to show them. Um, and the fact is, is that it's over. With the three of wands here, I feel like you've already left. You've already walked out on this connection here. This is a lot of wands here, um, a lot of fire energy with the judgment card here. This is a lot of fire energy and a lot of um, passion. And this nine of wands, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven wands and this person is like using those wands as like a ladder and they're holding two wands in their hand. This is somebody who is climbing to the top of this pyramid or mountain, but they're using these wands here to help them get up the mountain. Seven wands reflects an energy of someone who is protecting themselves, okay? Um, standing their ground, protecting their territory, whatever the case may be. So I'm feeling an energy of you having to protect yourself from this person. Two of Wands is an energy of someone who is um, playing a situation safe or trying to um, make plans to get to a safe place. And with that Three of Wands here under the deck, this represents you leaving. But I feel like you're, you're doing it cautiously. Like you had to plan your exit from this person, they put you in a position where you were afraid of them. Five of Pentacles here with the Ten of Wands. Like you were literally stressed out, wondering how you were going to get away. Okay, tell me about the Ten of Wands and the Five of Pentacles, please. Yeah, I'm saying something that was not very safe for you. When we have the four of pentacles, this talks about you being very guarded or having to protect yourself. Okay. Um, this talks about protecting yourself. Under the deck, you have the four of swords. And so this also is an energy of someone who is like they're recovering. This person is recuperating. This is someone who's healing after they've been through a difficult time. The Four of Swords comes after the Three of Swords. That is trauma, loss, heartbreak. And again, I feel like you are in a position where, you know, you have really suffered here. This tent is, is pitched in the snow. It looks like in the dead of winter, um, and I don't even see like an enclosure, so it's open to the elements. It doesn't look like a very warm place. So, yeah, that's you went through a lot with this person, Cancer. You went through a lot with this person here. But things are going to get better here. You have the sun card here. Things are going to get better. Eight of pentacles here. 
This again is a card that talks about improvement. So I do see things looking up and getting better for you. Um, but I think we're going to take this into an extended now because I do want to get a close look at this person's energy to find out more um, on their side, what's happening with them. Cancer, I'm seeing a lot of their energy here. Um, so we'll see. Maybe we'll pull more of your energy in the next reading. Let me know what resonates with you. Um, but we will have the link for the extended. I will make that available in the description box below. It's $11.11. So a very um, affordable price for those of you who can't really afford a reading with me at this time. So please check out the extended. I will see you there in just a bit. Bye.